My name's Christy Fitzgerald. I'm 41 and I currently work for the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade in the Sydney Passport Office. I live in a suburb that actually has an on-demand bus service. I hop on that every morning. It takes me to the local train station and I hop on a train for 45 minutes and it brings me to the city. It's just about a, a 400 metre walk from the station to my office. So I check all the documents that people provide with their passport applications. I check the photos and I check the signature um, and I check any assessments that our computer system flag that need further investigation. So I use Zoom text that magnifies everything on the screen for me so I can see it better. I also use a video magnifier on my desk if I have uh, paperwork on the desk that I need to enlarge as well. The, my eye condition is progressive, so I knew that one, one day I wouldn't be able to drive and I needed to plan my future and find a career that I could be involved in without driving. In, in the 13 years I've been in the public service, I started out as an APS Level 3. Um, the future could possibly hold an APS Level 6 role. I really enjoy showing that I'm a person with a disability in the workplace and just getting the job done like everyone else. The Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade actually have um, international skills and development programs and I applied to go to the meeting that they were holding in Finland for the Global Action on Disability Committee that they co-chaired at the time. I was successful, which was amazing. Then we travelled to Finland for seven days. It was um, attended by world NGOs and governments and it was an amazing experience. The highlight for me was just standing in a room chatting with all these people who wanted to make sure that people with disabilities were thought of in, in the aid programs that developed countries help in developing countries. Outside of work, I, I love watching movies, I love reading books, spending time with my family and friends. Love travelling, I love cruising. We have cruised from Hawaii, we've cruised to the South Pacific, we find it's just an awesome way to travel. It's relaxing and we can see other places at the same time. The statistics are there to show that people with disabilities are more reliable. We, we stay in jobs longer. There's job access, there's parts of the NDIS that will help fund work products and there's, there's just so many people out there that can help you settle someone with a disability into a role. Just ask the question, what do you need? How can I help you? That's probably the first thing that anyone really needs to ask.